my name is Juan de Marcos Gonzalez. Yeah. My role in Vivo was the Andres character. Andres is a Cuban musician, which is uh, something that I've been for uh, during my whole life. Where in certain sense, the history of Vivo, I mean, in the case of my character, which is Andres, is a little bit similar to my story. I was talked by the elders in my country to learn how to perform the traditional Cuban music. I was a, a young guy, and I used to be a rock and roll player. So when I turned my eyes to the music of my country, I had the support of the old people. There were a lot of old people uh, surrounding me in my country, in my uh, neighborhood. And then uh, later, I was able to help younger people, I even elder people, to 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 uh, reach their goals. So in certain sense, it's similar to, to my life. And uh, this is one of the reasons I was uh, attached to the history uh, of Vivo, the film. I was a kind of Andres. I've been a kind of Andres when I was a kid. I, I was a kind of Vivo when I was a kid. And then I was a kind of Andres when I had the possibility to support the people, to support younger guys, to teach them how to perform the traditional Cuban music. In fact, the Cuban music is huge, but it is a little bit difficult to learn the styles of the old generation and then mix the style of the old generation with the contemporary music in Cuba, and I was able to do it. And uh, this is something that uh, it was important for me, and that's why I was attached to this uh, character of Andres. Andres uh, was a very nice person. He was a very good tutor for Vivo. He was a nice guy, and everybody in the neighborhood was in love with Andres, who used to play every morning. They are going to love the music because the music is very well written. Uh, the arrangements are uh, special. They are a variety of genres. Uh, based on Cuban music, there are some ballads, there are some uh, freestyle uh, uh, music of the uh, Miami city. The people is going to love the music and how the music is able to make a journey to help the main characters in the journey through the film. So the people is going to love this. The people is going to love that. There's a love story. The people is going to love the friendship. The, the young guys, the kids, are going to learn that it doesn't matter if the people is different than you. It's a good film for family because besides having a message, a message to the kids, uh, the message of inclusion, the message of uh, di diversity, at the same time, it brings these beautiful uh, feelings of the human being. And this film is a message of friendship, precisely, and love. Vivo and Andres develop a relationship like family. And then Andres and Marta had a relationship also like family. I, I believe that Le Manuel is one of the most talented artists that we have here in America. He is a guy that uh, brought to stage, to the main stages, not only here in America, but worldwide, the, uh, the spirit of his community. And Lee Manuel is very talented. The music is very well written. His compositions are outstanding. Not only the compositions that I have sung in the film, but also the, the, the whole thing, the whole concept, and the way that he mixed when he was composing elements of the contemporary music with the traditional Cuban music. There are songs that are very traditional, like Mambo Cabana, which is a Cuban song. It's a very traditional uh, uh, style of music. Meanwhile, one of a kind is more freestyle, the, the more contemporary, mixing the, the elements of the Afro-Cuban music with the contemporary music. And then the, the Gavis hip hop, which is my, the Gavis rap, which is my favorite song in the film. Uh, Lee Manuel is outstanding. Well, Kirk, 
was a helping hand. No, I, I'll tell you something. I've never been an actor in my life. I'm a musician. I'm a band leader. I have composed music for films. And uh, I have composed music for my band. I have composed music for the some more uh, musicians. And uh, I have conducted bands for uh, nearly 40 years, but I've never been an actor. And I received the helping hand of Kirk, not only Kirk, but also Brandon, many, uh, uh, Michelle, the people that was working at the film, 